Select a Creative Commons license. Why should I license my work, even when it's free? This is an important step that many people miss when they share a resource online. Anything original that you create automatically has your copyright. In order for others to share, adapt, or even use a portion of your work, even for educational purposes, they must follow copyright and fair use guidelines that have major limitations. Or they must find a way to contact you directly for permission. When you are explicit about how your work can be used and changed, it frees others from the ambiguity of copyright. Therefore, applying a Creative Commons license is a way for you to tell people that they could use your ideas freely or with certain restrictions, and a way for them to know how to give you credit for your work. In these instructions, you will learn how to make your product an open educational resource by applying a Creative Commons license. We will use Creative Commons licenses because they are easy to apply and they communicate in a simple language how others can use and credit your work. Go to www.creativecommons.org forward slash choose. All you need to do is select how you want your resource to be shared and a license link will be generated. For your work to be considered an open resource, choose yes for the first question. The second yes means that you want those who use your work inside of theirs to also share the same way that you're sharing. Decide if you want to allow commercial use. Next, enter information so that others can give you credit for your work. For a basic license, I recommend adding the title of your resource, your name, and the link to your TPT store or preferred website. As you customize your license, do you notice how any changes automatically adjust the license that is being generated? When you're ready to write your product description, just put this code into the text box and the license information will appear on the product page. Keep this window open so that you could copy and paste this into your product description later. I'll demonstrate this when we add a product. 